So customer complaint. They're saying that their um, coolant light is on all the time for coolant level at the dash. And they're saying that they have enough uh, coolant in the expansion bottle and they do. Uh, so the customer complaint is confirmed. The sensor's bad and they wanted me to just get and replace the whole globe. So we're gonna drain this out of here and we're gonna replace the globe. Should be a pretty easy job. Let's uh, draw this out of here. there we're again using the seven dollar harbor freight pump again to drain this coolant out this thing has so many uses well we're definitely not using this coolant over again. It's got bits in there, probably from the internal sensor. <clears throat> it's got some plastic bits. Just about empty. Yep, it's in the bottom. That'd be empty. Pull that out. Just throw it down in this pan right here. So yeah, this, well, you can see from here, has some plastic bits in here, probably from the sensor or something. Let's find out. So let's get and do this one. Uh, these tools are great. For years and years, I used, um, channel locks for these clamps and or I've used um, pointy nose pliers depending on how hard it was to get to these are great they come in a three pack straights 45s and this one has a cable for extra tight spots let's see if we can use them all today to see what happens number one with this job don't do it with a hot engine let it cool for hours beforehand you only get scolded very easy to do Think I need my channel locks. Best way to get these hoses off is to get them to turn first. That you may need pliers for. Um, okay. So yeah, if these hoses have been on here for a while, you're gonna wanna get them to turn to kind of break them free. So I'll moderately pull on it as I turn it. And as you can see, There she blows. Next one. These clamp pliers are awesome because they lock in place just like that. So again, you gotta get the hose to turn, free it up. Let it turn. And it pulls right off. So we got the big one down here. And then the plug, and then we can get it off of there. So I think I need this one for this one. Okay. 
know that I've ever used this one. Let me try my 45s here real quick. That's why you gotta have more than one tool. can imagine trying to do this with a regular set of pliers forget it you know what I mean these make quick work even in tight spots okay so that one I'm just gonna get the hose off Sometimes you can take a flat screwdriver and pull on it. Where's my flatty? Flat screwdriver. There it is. There it is. There's a little more in there. Thankfully, we had our pan under it. All right. Okay. So these were too big. Now all we have is the one screw. It's still draining. One screw and the sensor. Would have had the customer made the made the right decision. We would have had to go through this whole process to this to the the sensor as well. Uh, and you know clearly this has been hot and cold many times. This plug. Oh. Yeah. The heck is in there bobbling around, yikes. Gotta get it where I can get a good grip on it. Do unplug it. And there she is. Okay, so it's really just a few minute job. Yeah, and there's something hanging around in there. So it looks to me like the sensor actually came off of it. It sits in that center hub there, the center hub there. And this one decided to come free. All kinds of plastic junk in there as well. Goodbye to that. Goodbye to that one. There's an O-ring sitting in there, sorry. Okay. So, just wanna inspect everything real good. Uh, this looks clean and dry, the connector for the sensor. Um, just kinda 
peek around a bit. Still dripping some uh, coolant out of there. I really wish I had another rag, but uh, I might in the back of the van. Customers always like it when you uh, clean around stuff as well. If you remove a part, clean where you couldn't clean, if the part was there. Customers very much like that, I do as well. And I couldn't believe all the gunk and junk up in here. Okay, it's looking pretty good, so. As always, any electrical connection, if I undo it, I always hit it with some electric cleaner, contact cleaner, I call it. Okay, let's see. Because I'm wondering if you're okay, girl. See, that's why you always check if it'll come off. Customer could have got 10 minutes down the road and the light come right back on. They wouldn't have liked that. <clears throat> there it goes. Click that time. So, this sat like this. Gonna line up these two pins and then sneak it under this guy here. Come on. Hmm. I see. Oh, there we go. It locks right into place like a key. It's got two two pins on down at this level and two up here. So we're gonna put our bolt back in there. It's a pretty easy job. Don't need the whole toolbox. That's nice. That's wrong. Oh. I need to get him a job. Something that's why okay so that's a clip it's not like a bolt Okay, so we'll do it the opposite of the way that we took it off. Need new batteries in that light. Do the bottom first and work our way up. <clears throat> this hose on. There we go. And my clamp. So I'm going to get in line this one up as well. I need it out of my way. Got it. 
trying to get it just in the right spot. If it's a little off, it ain't. underneath of it and guide it there we go get the slip right over it perfect I can switch back to the straight one and get these last two told the customer we'd be done by lunch today and guess what we will be done by lunch today. And check them, make sure you're over the nub. As you can see, this is a um, kind of like a barbed fitting on the end here. Want to make sure you get your clamp and everything on the other side of that lump right there. Oh, good. Give you a good idea. See a line in that groove up and that's just dished out. Flip it the other way. I was saying on the bottom one, sometimes you got to get your finger in there and guide it. It's not one to go over that hump. See this one, I may use this. Being a toughie. There we go. It's the OG method right there. Generally with these, you can clamp and pinch a little further, a little closer to each other. Channel locks, that's it. Customer has a new uh, overflow tank for their coolant. Uh, we'll fill that up with coolant and they'll be good to go, right? Yeah, we can fill Filling it. it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is give the other, or the customer, the original bottle. That way if they have to, uh, this is a cheap Amazon one. That's what they wanted to replace it with. Uh, if something ever happens with the seal or the cap in any way, they can replace the cap. Let me. Um, I don't have a funnel out here, do I? Double check everything's plugged and good. Okay. If I have one in there, yell, please. I'm just going to go at it by hand. Fill it up to the full mark or the max. Have to get some more coolant. Take all that stuff down. Thatch is done. Thanks, I didn't realize we're a Hollywood television keeper here.